Hello everyone, this is Kaga once again for our second dose of World of Tanks. And what you're looking at is, for all intents and purposes, a stock AMX-30 prototype. About the only thing I have upgraded is the gun on this vehicle. And it's got the same 100mm gun that is featured on the AMX-5100 the tier 8 uh, French heavy tank and now I have to admit I when I first got the 30 prototype here I absolutely hated it and it wasn't the mobility it wasn't anything other than the fact that I didn't have this gun I had the 90 millimeter gun from the AMX 1390 on this machine Oh. So every time I queue up in World of Tanks in this machine, I'm always kind of cursed with that memory in mind. And you know what? It isn't that bad a machine anymore. And I can say that with respect to the fact that I haven't played World of Tanks very heavily in recent memory, mainly because, you know, Armored Warfare and the Chinese uh, arms dealer has been keeping me quite busy as of late. So, I guess I can say I'm coming at this with a fresh perspective. I quite like this machine. It's mobile, it's got a good gun. The gun depression's a little lacking, but maybe that's just the stock turret configuration. I don't know. I will be eagerly seeing how that changes when I, after I get the 105 millimeter and eventually the upgraded turret on this machine. But in addition, it's just I was actually surprised that a tier eight heavy tank gun was performing so well in, on this machine. You know, kind of a surprise. And in hindsight, I'm kind I'm not certain that that. I need those 10 rounds of APCR that you see loaded up in this tank. But a little bit more background on this match. This is one of the, the very first match I had this last weekend in World of Tanks. As I mentioned in the previous video because, you know, I just had that break and I was just looking for something to kill some time while I was uh, waiting on something and couldn't do anything because, you know, there was a storm outside. Yeah, I know. Outside. <laughs> Such a strange concept to gamer kind. But, yeah. So, very first match, I queue up into this thing because, you know, why not? Get some extra bit in here. Maybe we'll get lucky. And, you know what? <laughs> so far, been doing pretty good. We're only about three minutes and 20 seconds into this match and already picked up of 2100 damage and change. Looking good. And you can see me right there. I'm still kind of trying to drive this tank the way I would some of the, uh, the Chinese main battle tanks with the uh, clutch reverse shots that I love to make in those things. And <laughs> you know, apparently not. That's that, so the wrong thing or, you know, maybe Maybe it's more the fact I don't have vertical stabilizers yet on this tank. I don't, at least I don't think I do. Hmm. Maybe I need to rectify that and then turn this thing into something a little bit more unique. I'm gonna get that sneaky shot on that T-54 and watch his health pool drop by contemplate going back. But no, I'm gonna come back up for another shot. Gonna poke up here. We plant a shot into the side panel cheek of the hull of the IS-6. Come back up again, test our luck. Look for a shot on the 5100. Pfft, nope, don't find it. But we bounce an APCR shell from the IS-6. <laughs> Why you fire that on this thing, I don't know, but the fact it bounced is pure justice. <laughs> oh, I love it, don't you? We put in a shot through the plate of the that tier eight. German heavy tank, the VK4502A, and bounce a shot that we should have uh, aimed more for the hole rather than the front plate, and if you're going to leave it out there, I will take the shot. Unfortunately, the round ends before the we can get the gun onto target, aimed, and can pull the trigger. 
on that uh, AMX 5100 that was oh so lovingly showing his butt to us. And we're still trying to keep this a family program, so I won't fill any of the details after that. Well, I have to say, it not much of a surprise here. The did fairly well. I'm more surprised by the fact that, <laughs> huh, this was the first time back in about a week of playing World of Tanks and did fairly well. Came out top of the team list quite surprisingly. I, I guess a lot of other people decided that they wanted to cap the enemy base rather than risk uh, extra damage on there in pushing out the final few tanks there we had caught in the corner, but no oh well. It's a team game. The team decided that was how we were going to win, so we won that way. No loss too much that way, though, you know. There's always that little voice in the back of their head saying, I want more damage. And we did fairly well in terms of it. 15 shots fired, 13 hits, 11 penetrations for our almost 3,300 damage. I'm more, I'm still kind of amazed that our paper thin armor was able to deflect an APCR shell from the IS-6. <laughs> you know, and that's one of those things about um, armor values in World of Tanks. It's it's one thing to just look at the number, and it's another to actually consider the geometry in that consideration. Them round curves on this vehicle really do make it harder to penetrate all the surfaces from every angle. And as I promised, this is a short video, so... We're going to keep this to under eight minutes if possible. Thank you for having bared with me for this segment. And if you didn't catch it, the other one I uploaded today with some KV2 hilarity, the link will be in the description box down below. So please check that out. If you happen to like this video, please consider giving it a like down below. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd like to see you around the channel a bit more often upcoming content to come on the channel this week is uh, definitely more of uh, World of Warships in particular got some community spotlight videos to highlight for you all some really nice games this time or some interesting things that came to mind while I was watching them all of this alongside our usual War Thunder Wednesdays and if there's time we will continue our little session or session video series dedicated to the Chinese main battle tanks that were recently added to Armored Warfare. Well anyway, thank you for having bear with me for about eight minutes at this point. And I, once again I'd like to thank you and bid you good day.